Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this episode, I'm gonna ask the question, is the golf cart any good? And while answering this, I'm gonna point out a few gems you may have missed in this huge update. So let's take a closer look at the golf cart. Most players if logged in since patch 07 have probably stumbled across the cart. They're not too hard to find and seem to be scattered across the northeastern side of the island. Here are a few spots I've found and there may be more. I feel confident that I've searched the beach areas surrounding the perimeter of the island. However, I haven't fully covered the inner landscape. So the two arrows shown are carts you can find on the beach and I've circled the golf course area. There I found three carts next to flag sticks. Now these vehicles are nothing new to the game. The only difference moving forward after patch 07 is that they actually work. Players can easily distinguish between the two types by color. If it's blue, it's drivable. So the golf cart is a solar powered electric vehicle and I didn't even notice the solar panel for a while. Actually it wasn't until I flipped the vehicle down the side of a mountain that I noticed it. Controls are basic with forward reverse and left right steering. I will say that the steering is much easier on keyboard versus controller. When using controller the cart can stop during hard turns. The vehicle goes up most ramps and stairs, however keep in mind if structural damage is on your game settings then the vehicle can damage your build. So the first thing that came to mind when I heard golf carts were going to be added was I need more ramps and as soon as the update went live I was ready to get airborne, however I was soon disappointed. First, the top speed and acceleration are on par with what one might expect in real life. I'm guessing about 20 miles an hour. I mean, I didn't expect world record golf cart speed. However, even at 20 miles an hour, we should get some air once we take this bad boy off a ramp, right? Well, you'd be wrong. So I don't know what end night put in the front end of these things, but it sure isn't feathers. These things got some front end weight for sure. I mean, most electric carts place the batteries underneath the driver's seat or rear fitment, in our case, a non-functioning cargo bed. Therefore, one should expect a mid to rear weight distribution. However, you would be incorrect to assume this. So watch me go off this ramp. Now you can see what I was going for, trying to ramp this little river. But as you can see, once you go off the ramp, you nose dive into a flip. So before I move on, one of the improvements you may have missed is the ability to zip all size logs and stones. Prior to patch 07, players could only send full logs up or down zip lines. Now since the update, we can send quarter, half, three quarter logs and stones. So this should make building a bit easier, getting necessary resources directly to the right spot. Now to one of the things I like, its ability to be pushed out of tight spots, wrong decisions or aquatic snafus when bebopping around the island. Now let's make our way from the beach and head up the mountain towards the center of the island. So I happened to make a left turn and this led to an encounter where I discovered the cart's next hidden ability, its ninja-like stealth. So after innocently interrupting a holy cannibal ritual and exciting the village's wrath, I noticed a Carl paying its respect to its fallen brethren, or just perhaps grabbing a quick nibble. This guy didn't even notice me. Yes, the low decibel hum of this electric propelled vehicle didn't even register to its ear holes. So back to the beach we went and further testing was needed. So I tested a variety of enemies and it seems kind of random. I'm not sure what situations allow you to go stealth, but I do know one thing. If you are unnoticed, once you exit your cart, they will see you and target you for destruction. So after a bit of stealthing around, it was time to turn this bad boy into a weapon and run over some enemies. And it actually does some damage, but remember with its open canopy design, players themselves will be susceptible to counter strikes. And certain enemies will not be so easy. Remember this, if it knocks you off your feet, it can eject you from the seat. Now let's get back to that mountain and actually let me point out another thing you may have missed, rope bridges. Now I have seen some rope bridges at lower altitudes, but for this example I'm up in the mountains. While there's not much to say about these, they're just made for walking across, they take no damage. And what I mean is when I first saw these I thought about Dr. Jones' Temples of Doom and the Death Rolls of Crocs. However, after a bit of violence, these bridges appear indestructible. I was hoping for the off chance to make cannibal life further difficult. And before I move on, can I just make one suggestion? We need some bull whips. There are some naughty demons running around this island. Okay, let me get back on subject. Let's climb this mountain. 
And as this mighty little mule makes its way up, I start to become really impressed with its climbing ability. I mean, this thing's got a bit of cat in its DNA, meaning it's got one heck of a climbing gear. And as I made my way up, I couldn't help but be reminded of my GTA days and the gigantic Mount Chiliad. This card, as you can see, holds a true line going up across some of the steepest terrain. Just remember, when you start to reach the peak, be careful exiting the vehicle because this thing doesn't have an e-brake. So finally I reached the top of the mountain and disappointment again ensued. Descending down the mountain, one should just discard the steering wheel because this card is going to do its own thing. And while on top of the mountain, if you've been paying attention, you know I had to build a ramp. And just like the night 5, the cart will stop when it hits a ramp. So I built a little runway and yes again, it went Philadelphia. Now before I leave the mountain, one other thing players may have missed is that another improvement in Night made was the addition of hot springs to certain mountain areas. Now I came across several before finding this little guy, although here was where I noticed some steam coming off the water. So I took a sip and unfortunately it too like other pond lake water hit me like a shot of whiskey. I figured it may be pure and ready to drink, however, with the new clean, dirty, water balance added in patch 07, all drinking water must either be boiled or consumed from a rain collector, or it will cause a small amount of health damage. I mean, the boiled water makes obvious sense, but the rain collector is basically a bird bath, and that doesn't seem to be too clean in my opinion. So before I move on, let me quickly show you how to boil your water. Once the pot is on the fire, don't walk away, because all eternity can pass with this water still remaining dirty. Make sure you hit that gear wheel and select boil water, or that fire will not know what to do. So fortunately, the golf cart cannot be destroyed, and believe you me, I certainly tried. So before I conclude this video, a few things I would like to mention. First, you may consider marking your cart with a GPS locator to make it easy to find in the future if you plan on using it again. And I have loaded saves where I have relocated the cart and it does appear to show up in the last spot left. Also on a side note, Patch 07 fixed the situation where the Night 5 and Hang Glider vanished in some saved games. I personally enjoy the cart when making my way around the mountain. It's a slower form of transportation but deliberate in its path. I suggest it needs a rear view mirror or the ability for players to turn their head around while sitting in the vehicle. Also like the hang glider, please give us the ability to use our GPS while driving. So that's it for this video. Check out the comments and description for more Patch 07 info. Please like and subscribe if you found the content useful. As always, thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next video.